Okay, so we've been spinning a while here, adding lots of sort of stuff. You can see as I, here I'm going to keep a little lock out. And again, I'm wrapping, pinching away from the side of the core. And wrap, pinch, draft, wrap, pinch, draft, wrap. And so now I want to add some sequins. So you see here I have my inch of uh, string, exposed string, and I'm going to pinch that so that it's against the core thread. And I then core spin and I wrap the fiber around both the core and the exposed sequence strands. And then I just pull it to the outside because you might find, see how it sort of wrapped itself around the core. So pull it to the outside so that you're holding it along with the fiber. Sort of pull this up a little bit. So now I have the sequins secured in to the fiber and I have my sort of drafting triangle and I'm going to pull this out a little bit and I'm going to spin allowing the sequins to wrap with the fiber. So you see I'm holding the sequins in between my thumb and my pointer finger. I have the fiber with the rest of my hand and it's all going to wrap together. You want to do this slowly and you'll get different textures. The more fiber you use the more poofy it will be. You could wrap the sequins directly against the core you'll get a little bit of a different look. And so then I come to the end and I again pinch the end strings with the core and I wrap the fiber right around it. And so you see then here I have a secure sequence in the yarn wrapped both at the top and the bottom and it's not going anywhere. And so that's adding sequins into your yarn.